YouTube. Welcome to my office. Today, I want to talk to you about iPhone 6 frame and LCD separation issues that have been plaguing the market. And first off, we're going to talk about the glue that goes into it. And I know we've talked about glue multiple times in the past, but today I want to talk to you specifically about hot melt glue, which is HMG for short, and CPG, which is cold press glue. Now OEM factories will use CPG to assemble their screens and frames. This process requires 15 seconds of cooling time and 2-3 to three hours to set. And once the glue has been applied to the part, it needs to carefully be held together so the glue has a chance to dry and harden. This glue isn't cheap and the cost plus the production time and handling requirements deter generally most, if not all, third-party factories. Instead, they use HMG, which has a cooling time of 10 seconds and only needs about 6 seconds to set. The quick cooling and setting time, coupled with low costs and little to no handling requirements, makes this a no-brainer for the majority of those third-party factories, even though it's a weaker glue altogether. HMG has three different quality levels, low, medium, and high grades. These denote the stickiness and overall quality of the glue. Most third-party manufacturers will use the mid-grade version for Apple products, but it isn't sticky enough to meet the higher requirements of the iPhone 6's frame which is thinner and bigger than previous models. Onto the actual parts themselves, pre-assembled and refurbished iPhone 6 screen assemblies with the frames have both high copied and OEM frames in glass, with the frames being a custom made copy according to the size of the original front glass. This means the molds were made just based on the parts from the actual device without the actual precise measurements the OEM factories will have. But since the molds for these parts were produced, many factories have been using them constantly which means that by the time the separation issue showed itself, the market was already flooded with these parts. Alright, let's look at some parts. Here, I've got an iPhone 4, there's an iPhone 4, iPhone 5, and iPhone 6 frame. And if you look closely at the frames, you can see that the edges are getting thinner and thinner. And this results in less area for the adhesive to be applied. This, plus mid-grade hot melt glue, and the machinery and processes used to put these parts together are no longer good enough for the new iPhones. There are other issues with the frames and glass as well. Since the parts aren't made to the quality of OEM producers, the surface may not be smooth. This results in uneven areas where the glue will have even less area to adhere to. To combat these issues and make frames that have a lower chance of separation, third-party manufacturers have raised the height of the edge of the frame to 1.18 millimeters versus the 0.89 millimeters of the original. This raised edge prevents the parts from having a flush fit with the foam. OEM manufacturers will apply adhesive to the four corners of the frame to ensure that it doesn't separate off from the assembly. However, to cut costs, not all third-party manufacturers will apply adhesive to those corners. Now let's look at the glass. Any assembly work done to put screens and frames together should be done in a dust-free room, but many third-party manufacturers are unable to meet this standard. It's really easy for dust to stick to the frame, and it greatly decreases the quality of the glue. If you look here on the glass itself, there's a varnish at the bottom that needs to be a minimum quality as well. If the varnish is not sticky enough, the frame is guaranteed to come off. And third-party factories don't always apply this varnish either, which is a big problem in and of itself. I just want to let you guys know what we're doing here at ETS to make sure that you all don't get stuck with crappy parts, and how we're working very closely with our suppliers to make sure that all these issues and all these problems are handled very carefully and looked at very closely. We make sure that any parts we buy are assembled with high-grade hot melt glue. All the work to assemble the parts is done in a dust-free room, the frame height is less than 1mm, and we carefully select glass screens with stickier varnish. We are also performing more QC testing in-house to make sure the parts will stay together. We do peel and force tests daily, as well as temperature tests at 50 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes and 0 degrees centigrade for 120 minutes. Well, that's all for now, guys. We hope you learned something about the current market affairs and uh, iPhone 6 front-end assemblies. And uh, we'll leave a link down here to uh, a blog post with more information about this specific issue. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our website for even more information. And until the next video, thanks.